Um, I, I think it generally, um, nobody cares if uh, an African Muslims mm-hmm. die. They, they just don't. The, the most egregious example of this, and I remember it was one of the first things I wrote about when I started writing for HuffPost was this mm-hmm. Omar al-Bashir, right? Sudan, yeah, the Sudan, yeah. Arab guy, a- Arab leader, just mm-hmm. killed like 500,000 in the first few years that were, first few 500,000 black Muslims. So these mm-hmm. are 500,000, half a million black Muslims have died within a matter of years, mm-hmm. just a few years. And the moment something happened in Gaza, everybody's freaking out, right? It's mm-hmm. because because it was the Jews doing it, or because it was something else. But when an Arab Muslim killed, you know, a half a million black Muslims, really nobody apart from George Clooney to some extent, like really cared what was. Well, they're was doing happening. it right now in Libya. They're not only absolutely not only, in Libya. It's so bad, you know. They're stealing. Um, like it is horrific what is they happening. Are, they are yeah. enslaving. Like the, uh, Enslave, they're, they're enslaving. taking their organs out. You know, mm. not to mention um, they call. They're getting um, you know the victims, the slaves, to call their families whilst they're being raped and tortured. Uh. Um, it's it's just horrific what is going on. Why does um, it? Why why don't you think this get much coverage? Like the amount of conflicts right now happening in Africa do not right. get any attention. Cannibalism and because Congo. honestly, because you know, honestly, and and I, I I really don't like identity politics. I really don't subscribe. You know, I hate the regressive left, but I have to agree with mm. Black Lives don't matter. Mm. They just don't matter. You know, yeah. that's why things like those hashtags and stuff like is so important because to re- really as a black person, that's what it feels like. You know, it really feels like our lives don't matter, and they're not of the same value as people of lighter skin, you know. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.